All right, we're gonna go over the ghost pepper cheese. This, in my opinion, is one of the dirtiest StarCraft II builds ever invented in Legacy of the Void. So, this is one of those bill orders that makes you question a man's sanity. I think many people in the past that have committed war crimes would never have done anything so heinous as use this build against unarmed civilians. This is one of, without a doubt, the dirtiest build orders ever made. Literally ever. It starts off innocent, you might think, with a 14 supply depot at your wall. Like any other build, this one starts with a depot. Keep in mind that this is Ulrena, a map with a very short air to air distance and a very short rush distance. Thanks, these little bridge is bridges. We follow it up with a very fast gas. This gas is at 15 supply. Afterwards, when the depot finishes, we build a barracks. If you get this spawn in Ulrena, you can commit some very dank memeage by building your barracks here so that you can immediately start your tech lab when it's done and block this off. Once your barracks is under construction, you're going to build a second refinery at 17 supply. And you'll see me pull an SCV off as soon as I have the cash money cash for it. Maybe it's 18 supply. As fast as you can, basically, is how when you should take this gas. I take it a little late this game. Doesn't matter that much. My opponent sends a probe into my base, not realizing that he's about to be violated worse than... I don't know. I don't want to say anything really offensive on my YouTube channel. So, there you go. It's going to be bad. Probe double checks. He's like, wait, did he really take two gas? Oh, okay. Okay, and he's going to back off. Of course, you want to saturate your gas. But once the barracks is done, you start a tech lab, and you start a factory. You start your orbital. These are all the tools you need to win the game. Now, we're just going to skip through here because we're not going to do anything. When the barracks is done, you're going to build one marauder and you're going to start concussive shells. You're not starting concussive shells because you want to catch a slow unit out on the map. You're starting concussive shells because you want him, if he moves his probe up your ramp, to think that you're going for a concussive shell marauder push. You are not. You will send your marauder down your main base ramp looking for a probe or a pylon. Once you've secured this area, and you know that your opponent is not going to run a probe past this Marauder, just patrol outside the front of your base and wait. Once your factory is done, move it on to the tech lab. You're going to immediately build a Cyclone and start the Mag Field Accelerator upgrade. This causes Cyclones to do 800 damage over 17 sec seconds to any armored unit, including pylons, mothership cores, and uh, don't say anything any armored units. You're floating your barracks across the map because this map has a very short rush distance by air. Your barracks can get there quickly enough to spot. In this game, I throw my Marauder away, trying to deal some light harass and bait out. I'll put an overcharge, see what they've got. The Marauder is not a core component of this build. This Marauder will allow you to defend against any proxy gateway strategy that your opponent may try to use against you. Once your Cyclone is out, you're going to keep building Cyclones. I like to send some SCVs to repair. I also like to start an engineering bay as soon as I have the money so that I can get a turret in case my opponent's doing something weird like proxy stargate or proxy memes. God knows how dangerous those can be. So the barracks comes over. Suddenly you have a high ground spotter for your cyclone. The cyclone's lock on range as we can see is far longer than its vision. The cyclone here can see up to this point but it can theoretically attack anything of this far away. So something right here, the Cyclone would need a spotter for, much like a siege tank. In that case, it's our barracks. You can Photon Overcharge, 420 Overcharge, this pylon as much as you want. It will never shoot your Cyclone. And thankfully, your barracks has a thousand hit points. So good luck killing it with pylons. It spots for the high ground. Adepts don't kill Cyclones. And when your Magfield Accelerator upgrade completes, pylons will die left and right. It doesn't matter what your opponent is doing. You're going to micro your ass off as much as possible with this build order. I build missile turrets this game because F Protoss. As you can see, my Cyclone does a tremendous amount of damage. And once that upgrade completes, it's bye bye pylons. Bringing SCVs to repair is always crucial, as Cyclones are quite literally the glass cannon 
for Terran in StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Of course, it's important to have that barracks spotting buildings like this so you don't take too much damage. Just walk on, step out of range, and watch the Protoss tiers start to pile up inside their base. I've defeated players that have gone for Fast Stargate, Fast Robo, Fast Dark Templar, and even Fast Memes. I have not lost a single game with this build. Ever. I have actually not lost a single game when opening up with this build order versus Protoss. Although, of course, that's also because I only do this build on Arena and Prion Terraces. You just keep micring. Your barracks sits here, giving vision, and you slowly chip away. You just rally your factory to the enemy's base. You'll slowly bank up minerals, start a command center, start a church, start a fundraiser for the poor kids that don't have minerals. Do whatever you want with it. I don't care. And you'll see your opponent slowly crumble because Cyclones wreck stalkers, they wreck void rays, they actually wreck immortals if you can kite against them. And they wreck pylons. They can also uh, snipe buildings. It takes three cyclones with a mag accelerator upgrade locked onto a nexus to kill it. That's right. If you lock onto a nexus with three of these puppies, it's dead. Like, actually, it's gonna die. Unless they can somehow kill all your cyclones. But you've got a tremendous amount of range. Much more range than this pathetic ball of energy. He may have big balls. But he does not have, well, much else. And then you pretty much just keep doing this until they die. That's really it. That's the secret. Your cyclones are so good. You just use that barracks to spot and keep killing shit. And then you win. And that's the ghost pepper cheese. The dirtiest cheese ever made. Fermented in the jock strap of Davy Jones. Well memed. There you go.